Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo, continuing this Madden 19 Browns franchise rebuild. We're cruising towards the end of Season 5, folks. As always, I'm playing that offense only, simulating the defense, and running that balanced playbook. If you would be so kind, I would love it if you'd take the moment to subscribe and hit that notification button. It means a lot to us here at the Crazy Town that you like our stuff. We are uh, cruising along in Season 5 with our new core of offensive players. 13-1, it's a good season. Uh, hopefully we'll win another Super Bowl. We're going to keep on keeping on and see what the hell happens. Uh, Zach the Dream Weaver is our quarterback. He is uh, slowly came into that name, the Dream. I've been calling him that since I drafted him, but uh, he's been doing his stuff. And uh, we got Ellis Barker. He is uh, trucking through the fields. Like a goddamn plow powered by oxen and taking the NFL by storm. All right, we start out, we start with the same play every time, guys. Gonna test these outside running skills. Is Ellis Barker gonna be able to cut out to the outside, or is Cincinnati gonna chop his damn legs off like a lumberjack? Da 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 da. Oh shit, bitch. Oh, did you see his mother cry? I saw his mom cry. Oh, we spun him out the slowest spin that's ever happened to anyone in the history of spin outs. He broke his knee so slow, it looked like a piece of twine twisting around an open pole in the woods. I don't know, guys. You know how it goes on these videos. I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. So that was Barker. They look pretty good. Looks like we may be able to run today. Uh, let's get fucking Hanoian in this bitch already. Hanoian's over here. They're playing zone. They're not on a man-to-man. -man. They're gonna cut. Oh, God, they blitzed me. Those fucking pricks, dude. And he fucking... Dude, I hate it so much. <laughs> They're constantly... Ugh. Ah. Whatever. All right, so we're going to try a little play action. It's probably going to cut. Oh, my God. Look at that pressure that's going to come on the left side, dude. I'm going to switch my protection to the left. Hopefully, it helps me. It does not. Oh, God. He stopped. I don't know why he stopped, but he did. The defensive guy literally ran to me and stopped. I'll take it, dude. Zach, the dream weaver, 4,000 yards in his rookie season. Coming through. Well, it's not his rookie season. It's his first full season. He was a rookie last year and sat behind Baker Mayfield. Oh, we're cutting out to the outside. Oh, ho, ho, I ran him over like a semi, folks. And uh, number 52 just pushed me down like I was a goddamn tricycle. So, they all can't be winners. Let's see here. All right. Um, I'm going to try to go up the middle. I don't know if it's going to work. It doesn't look like it, but maybe. Oh, yeah, nope. God, dude. They were in the backfield so fast. They were there so fucking fast. It was like, I'm here, guys. What's up? Uh, let's try the third and 14, dude. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to take Hanoian on a, on a uh, slant as well. All right, they're all good enough that they can... Oh, fucking devout. Oh, God, that guy dropped back into coverage. I thought he was going with Hanoian. You... Prick nasty. Motherfucker, dude. I swear to God. Pointing your field goal for your own, for your trouble. Cup. And cup. All right, we got it. We're kicking it down the center, folks. Putting the three spot on the board. I think last time I played these fucking dudes, I got like three field goals. And they almost beat me. Well, right now, they aren't doing anything but losing. So, all right, let's take a look here. Let's try to get... Barker to the outside. Um, ooh, we're kind of, I do kind of like this. Dude, there's so many guys. Oh my god. There was like five of them running in tandem towards my fucking fa face. I don't even remember split being an option on this. Maybe I've just ignored it for so long. I'm like, oh, there's a split play? That's great. 
All right. Um, we're going to do the draw. Oh, get him up. Th oh, he fucking climbs his way through the jungle gym, folks. Let's see here. 39 yard, Dude, at least that first run was good because these last two have been trash. The last two, last six or whatever, however many I've got. All right, so no fumbles this season. That's basically an invite to fumble right here. I'm going to slide protection left, but, dude, I don't like this. I'm actually going to change it up. All right, I'm going to change it to a pass. This may fail miserably. Oh, DeValve is open. Oh, DeValve. <laughs> Push him down. Push him down, dude. Push him down, not spin in a circle and trip. Face mask him. He tried to grab the Valve's face mask, but it slipped off because he's smooth like salve. All right. Let's see here. I'll, I'll take an extra 15 anytime they want to give it to me. I don't give a shit. And we're going to creep up the middle. Oh, it's spread open like the red. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. They lifted him up like a sack of lumber and threw him on the old farm truck. Taking him out to pasture, friends. All right. You know who it's time to get involved? It's time to get Perry Ellis and Holloway involved. Well, Perry Armstrong, but he's Perry Ellis. Holloway, Hanoian. I'm going to take Hanoian deep to try to open up him on the cut. Yep, it worked. No, it didn't. Oh, my God. Dude, y'all like, you guys are bitches. That's really how I feel. I really, truly feel that you guys are bitches. Um, we are going to, I don't remember the split being here at all. But it might be. I may have just not paid attention to it for five seasons. All right, let's take a look here. Let's, uh... All right, let's get going in here. Oh, he just... Dude, literally, there was a wide open hole. And the second he gets to it, all of a sudden, there's fucking four dudes there. Not fucking four dudes, but you get my point. This is stupid. Ooh. Dude, they're just really good. Oh, my God. Did I get it? Fuck you and your 50-yard field goal. No! Dude, how can you say it? Okay. Why does the coach suggest a 50-yard field goal if I can't, if I don't have the leg? I kick it. It says perfect when I kick it. And it's short. Like, why? Like, what is the... Why would you even... Mm, why would you suggest me to do it? Like, that's the coach's suggestion. Hey, let's kick a kick that our kicker can't make. He's made a 50-yard kick before, dude. It was 50 yards. Dude, that's stupid. Or was it 57 yards and I just wasn't paying attention? He should have made it regardless. That's stupid. All right, so now I'm down. Because I can't score. I've had three fucking possessions. I have three points. A punt, two, a missed field goal. It's almost halftime. Cincinnati. I hate Cincinnati so much. Get out. Oh, my God. Did you feel that? Fucking mother felt it. Stupid ass. She's like, son, did you just get bashed in the dome by a fucking Barker? And he was like, yeah, ma, Barker got me. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Hanoian is coming through like a goddamn clutch master. Oh, there we go, folks. At least I'll be uh, down by one or ahead at halftime. Um, let's take a look here. What do you guys What do you guys think I should do? Um, yes, I should stare at their coach some more. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna try to do the quick slant, man. Barker's gonna run out. Devalve, Devalve, dude, I don't like you doing this. I wish I could make them slant to the outside. I gotta do a zig, cause that's stupid. Oh yes, that's good. I hate that I have to always slant him this way. Oh god. Oh, did he get it? Oh, oh, oh Callaway with his paws of stickiness. His paws are so sticky that you'd think he was eating honey for breakfast. It's the dumbest thing anybody's ever said, but it's kind of true if you think about it. All right, I guess we're just going to have to go for the gusto here. All right, Hanoian's going deep. DeValve's going deep. 
and Armstrong's. Nope. And Armstrong's going deep. I'm only taking three deep. I want to take Halloway on a slant, so kind of mix him up in the middle and see what the fuck happens. God damn, you slow fuck. Why is your release so slow? Like, why can't you throw the... I need, like, a three second... I need three seconds on top of my three seconds. Bullshit. At least I get to return the kick because I had the ball at halftime. God, that frustrates the bejesus out of me that I can't get the goddamn... You better get out of this. Oh, there. Oh, Kerr. Oh, he spins. This is Kerr Nation. That's our, that's our rookie, folks. It is not. I would have been the 20. I did better than I would have done. So thank you. And he ran from all. He technically got a 35-yard return because he was in the back of the goddamn end zone. Ooh, I can't wait to get Kerr in the game. Do you see how fast he was, folks? He's my fifth receiver. He's a rookie this year. He's not quite ready for the big time. Get out of my fucking neck. Um, I mean, if you stick around the in the uh, after the game stuff in between the weeks, um, he's the guy that I uh, I am training him to get him better. He's only like a 75 overall, but I did draft him this year. I think in the second round or some shit. So I got I got five quality wide receivers, man. I don't really need any more. I mean, I can throw them on the old practice squad. Get out of my face. Get out of my dreams and into my car. Do it. There's never any daylight, dude. There's never any motherfucking daylight because they like to just take me. They like to take me on trips and leave me at the beach and throw sand in my eyes. That's what they do. All right, let's see what we can do here. It's a... All right, it's a... Oh, Mabin. Mabin coming through. Normally, you're the blocker. Today, you're the catcher. Can't depend on you a lot, man. You ain't got good hands, but... You know what? Sometimes you got to throw them off. Ooh, this be Zach the Dream Weaver's 50th career touchdown pass. Oh, shit. Yeah, because he had a couple. I, I brought him in a couple times last year. Just, to, oh, my God. It split like the red fucking sea. Get out of my chest. Moses would have been like, now your people are free as he ran right through the hole. Man. Whew. Was like who split the Red Sea? Was it Moses? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a uh, historian. Mm. Oh, Hanoi and oh my God, you almost let it get intercepted, bro. You need to. You need to get out here. You need to get out there and work on your hands, friend. All right, second and ten. We're on the 45. I like how this is looking. It's all red. It says it's not good, but you know what I like. When I defy the odds, because Maven comes in and d just doesn't block a guy. He, Maven's chasing the guy who's about to, If he would have blew him up, like not like literally blown him up, but like hit him at all, he would have like cried. Like his tears would have been like joyful. All right, who's in the slot? Armstrong. Armstrong is in the slot, folks. Do you see it? Perkins and Sith is in there. They're giving... Oh, they're giving Parker... Then you get Jumpy McJamstein. He's like, nah, dude, I'm I'm blitzing. I'm not paying attention. 58 yards. You guys can suck it. Um, yeah, dude, like, come on. Why are you suggesting I, I kick a 58-yard field goal? He missed the 50-yard field goal, you dumbass. All right. All right, so we'll go. Uh, uh, click. Okay, we're going to keep Barker in the backfield blocking. We're going to keep him in the backfield blocking. Oh, and DeValve. Oh, splitting the safeties like a goddamn fork in the butter. That was a lot of maneuvering, man. I didn't like maneuvering all that much. I just, I almost ran out of play clock time. But Zach the Dream Weaver. He's a he's a cerebral assassin out there, folks. He's he's picking apart the defense with his brain as if his hands were his brain. Knock him down, make him look like a savage. Oh, ho, ho, and Ellis Barker, did he not go in the goddamn end zone, dude? Dude, 
Here, we'll try that up the middle, and here's what's going to happen. I'm calling this right now. The, they're, I'm going to get sacked for like a... Or not sacked. I'm going to get hit for like a five-yard loss. Because they're just going to fucking steamroll me like fucking... Like Steamboat Willie. Oh, I cut him, folks! I shanked him with my switchblade as I got through there. Oh, Cincinnati. What's happening? What's happening right now? You guys are falling apart at the seams. You're like a 22-year-old children's teddy bear. He's been carrying around by the neck for 20 years, and now the neck's finally coming off, and he's all sad. He's like, why is little Snuggles' his neck falling apart? And I'm like, sorry, dude. You killed him. He's like, no. Yeah. I like to keep it real, you know? All right, so Hanoian's cutting across. I'm actually going to take the valve on an out. I'm going to crisscross. Fucking Mabin, you stay back and block, bro. Look at this. This is going to be, this is like the fucking Christmas ham edition of motherfucking Hanoian. He caught it. He was like, oh, my God. Look, look at him. He's so happy. He's, he's doing the in and out, throw my hand down dance. Have you guys ever heard of that one? Google it. Oh, Cincinnati. Guys, did they win? What is this split? I swear to God this is new. I swear to God this is not something I've done before. What, who are the backs that are in on this? Who is it? Barker and Mabe. Oh, they got them split out all crazy and shit, dude. This is interesting. This is new. I swear to God this is a new playbook. New fucking formation in this playbook. You guys, call me out. If you've seen it in there and I've just never used it, let me know. But it does not seem like anything that's ever been in this playbook before. I don't know why I think. What is going on? Um, I don't know. But you know what? That play worked. I'm going to try to hit get the Holloway special going on right now. All right, guys. Um, ooh, Holloway is double covered. Hanoian is open. Oh, he's fucking wide open. Hey. He has the slowest. Wow, Hanoian was just like standing there. He's like, hey, uh, they forgot about me. Please don't forget about me. Please don't forget about me. We want to do the, we'll do the strong flood. The strong flood will work. We're going to try to get Holloway involved. He needs, he needs to get a little bit of the, I need to take the valve the opposite way to kind of. Oh, they're going to actually Armstrong is open as a ball, Zach. I guess, it's, I guess the ball, Zach, is closed, so, you know. Um, All right, let's do, I like this play, man. We're going to, we're going to take Armstrong on a slant now. All right, we're not running the clock out, dude. All the way. Oh my god, he put his mitts out and he just dropped it in there like a fucking basket full of bread. He was like, do you want to roll on Christmas? Do you want to roll on Thanksgiving? Here it is. I'm just going to toss it into your damn Kool-Aid cup. And he was like, oh my god, I love Kool-Aid. I love Kool-Aid on my rolls. Has anyone ever dipped a roll in Kool-Aid? I think, I want to say that as a child I did, but that's really gross. Oh, DeValve! Did you just... Are you trying to tell me he didn't get in the end zone? Dude. This bullshit. This is bullshit. They're bullshitting me. I don't like it. We're going to double slot cross. My eyes are itching. My eyes are itching, folks. Everyone's just going to run a drag route. We're going to have so many guys congested in the middle of the field that they're not even going to know what happened. And then DeValve's going to be like, oh, hey. Oh, God. They, I got confused. There was too many orange helmets. All right. Oh, shut up. We're going to try to throw a screen to Hanoian. It's going to fail miserably, but then it'll give us a couple yards off the line of scrimmage, which will help. So... Dude, why? It's a fucking screen, dude. What do you need to jump? Why do you need to jump to catch it? He threw it right to you. You were standing still. Yet now, yet now you need to jump for it and be out of fucking position. 
Give me my fucking play call screen. Thank you. I love redesigning all the plays. Ha <laughs> ha, Holloway in the end zone. Let's bring the team in for this one. Are we going to eat all the food? What are we doing? Oh, no, we're going to do the thrash. Look at this. Look at that thrashing, folks. Number 67, that's Brad Lee. He's given up on the team. He's a piece of crap. He said he won't want to sign. He doesn't want to. We're not going to give him enough money. Brad Lee. Brad Lee. What a jerk. You guys going to give me the ball back? You are... Oh, I love when I get the ball back. I'm so excited to get the ball back. You guys have no idea. I'm just going to run. Or am I? Nope, I'm running. Oh, God. Get out of my face. Oh, did you see that your mother called? They called the timeout. I love it. Do you guys think you can win? You're down by 16 with 30 seconds left. They just, they just want to, they want to make this coach proud. Oh, you know who I'm playing? I'm playing Baker Mayfield. I believe this is Baker Mayfield's team. And uh, somebody else, I think, went to this team, too. Some guy who wanted to be a savage and want all the goddamn money. Nick Chubb, maybe. Mm. Oh, did you see him? Oh, and he's going, folks. And he... <laughs> oh, my God. Did you see the velocity on that hit? Somehow he was running alongside me and then got the velocity of a goddamn jet plane. I don't know, dude. Whatever. He likes jets. All right. So we're going to try to do something. All right. We're going to take Callaway on an in. Bam, DeValve. Oh, oh, is that the river? Oh, oh. God, DeValve, he just fucking climbed in your window. Oh, folks. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. Do it all. I love hearing from you, and I will always get back to you. We also have a podcast, other game playthroughs on the channel. With uh, my uh, partner in crime, TNT Dynamite. Make sure you check those out. They're fucking awesome, too. But for Jonas, unless you're hanging out after the game to check out what I do in between the weeks, we'll see you next week for week 17. I am out. next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, it's a tough blow to their... Okay, guys, here we are. We're in the after week stuff. Um, what I'm going to do... Oh, I have tons of stuff I can do upgrades. Let's see what we can do to Jonas J here. Uh, player acquisition. I want to do... Oh, I did, I did do offensive linemen. That's funny. Do I need linebackers too? I get, let me just do the free agency, player retention. I guess I'm going to turn on the O-line re-signing influence because like, I really want them to get better. I already have all of that. Player retention. Who do I want to keep? The wide receiver. I'll keep tight ends. Um, who else do I want to keep? I guess I'll do the linebacker, re-sign influence, and I guess I'll do the uh, defensive back. I mean, if I can keep the, the players easily. There we go. I upgraded myself, folks. Level 25. All right. Let's see here. Oh, Ellis Barker and Sydney Flirt are getting upgrades. I'm going to go to the next week real quick. Um, and then I'll upgrade everybody. So advanced week, week 17 against the Bucks, 15 and one. Uh, let's see here. We'll start weekly training. We'll go down. We'll get these mofos pumped up like a goddamn Reebok pump shoe back in 1987. Well, that was a little later than that, 1990. All right, let's see. Patrick Kerr. Yeah, there's Ellis Barker, Zach Weaver. You know, they're all, they're all freaking amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade players. Who's all ready to upgrade, folks? Who we got? We got some more upgraders. I'm making, I'm slowly making him elusive, guys. He needs his spin move to get, and he, it just keeps doing jukes. I don't even like juking. All right, Sidney Floyd. We're going to keep moving him up, trying to get him. He's a, he's a backup safety, but I got him locked in. 
Reed Golston. This was the guy who uh, I drafted to replace uh, Miles Garrett. Who, I mean, he's, I guess he's creeping on a come up. We'll have to check his stats at the end of the season. Tyrone Kidd, he's my backup. I got some good backup safeties, man. I, I can dig it. Um, Stephen Hawkins, the uh, scientist. He's coming up. All right, I can dig it. All right, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba. All right, let's scout some fucking players. I think I need to do linebackers, if I recall correctly. Because I have a bunch of linebackers, but they're all bitches, and they want to run away. Oh, yeah, I did. I scouted all these fools already. Let's do fifth round guy here. Come on, Benton Leach. Yeah, dude. Uh, unscouted. Right outside linebacker now. Oh, I already did those guys too. All right, middle linebacker. I think I do need one because those guys are getting old. So we'll we'll just scout some of them. It's cool. I got plenty of scouting points. Oh, late first rounder, huh? Oh, early third rounder. I got a lot of draft picks too, I think. Oh, just see him? And here's Dylan Dolquizo. The names they have in this game are sweet, dude. I wish that was my last name. Jonas J. Laquizo. It'd be oh, God, I'm playing the 2 and 13 bucks. That should be... Okay, who do I got to resign here? Denzel Ward, I'm going to... I got to make a decision. Like, I may keep him, but... Okay, so Betonio, no. <sighs> my right outside linebacker wants to test free agency because he's a douche. Carl Nassib, I don't care about. He's old. Josh Gordon is old. I'm good. Daniel Simpson, my left outside linebacker. He wants to be stupid. My center... I don't care about Roman Perkins. I'm not paying you that much. Cooper Chase, my right guard. Dude, why are all these guys? So I, I got left and right side linebackers, a center, and a right guard. I have to replace them all. Perry Nickerson, dude, I've, I've tried, bro. I'm just not. I'm just not into it, dude. You haven't. I brought you up from, you were just a little seedling, a sapperling, and I raised you to a mighty oak, but you're not really a mighty oak yet, so... All right, that's really it, guys. I will uh, go ahead and catch you next week here when I play the Tampa Bay Bucks. But for Jonas, make sure you subscribe and comment. We love to hear from you. I'll catch you next week. I am.